very on edge and nervous about this fight. You seem to lean in and whisper something to him. I can't even remember what I said. I said, I, I, I hope you're ready. He was, he was talking about, oh, you're going down tomorrow night, you're going to get a boxing lesson, whatever he was saying. I was just like, I hope you're ready, mate. And then he must have just cracked it. Do you feel like it gives you a bit of an edge that you see him react like that? It, it does. It shows me that he's he's frustrated, he's angry, and he, he's, he's going to be coming to fight uh, tomorrow night. Do you, do you get annoyed? I mean, it, all through the build-up, he's been talking about how he sees you as somebody who's sort of had a bit of an easy ride and got all the brakes and, and that sort of was firing him up. Do you get annoyed when he's sort of talking about your, it is. your journey that way? It, it is, because it's been such a hard, hard journey to get to where I am. It hasn't been easy. And he talks about how easy I've got it and how easy I've had it in the past to get to where I am. It's just like, please walk in my shoes and then you'll see how hard it's actually been. So that is frustrating to me. Do you think anyone believes what he says when he says things like that? I think he believed it, maybe. But maybe and maybe some people in his team. He, I know he's got a loud mouth in his team that keeps on going on as well. Just like in the Crawford camp, we had another loud mouth saying something. Jeff, what did you learn? What lessons have you learned from the I guess one criticism level that you and your corner was you weren't able to make adjustments in the fight. Are you a smarter fighter now? Can you do that if he throws something at you that you may not have expected? Yeah, I think I can. I, I think I've learned from that, that loss against Crawford and I think I'll be able to box if I need to box in there, but I'll see what's working against Mundine and um, I've got different strategies I can draw on him. Jeff, after this, I know you, you think a convincing win back to America. Yeah, that's I guess where the, the massive money in the boxing sport and where the, the legends lay. So um, back to America would be a big step. Um, what about I guess him making the weight? Um, he's, he's made it comfortably. Do you feel like he may have sacrificed completely in terms of power and fitness to, to get there? Possibly. He might have drained himself a little bit too much, which is why he's, he's acting the way he is. He must be very frustrated. but. Um, look, I, we're pretty much, I think, similar weights, but I, I did it easily. I did it comfortably. He probably did it hard. Just by looking at you now, it's a lot different, Jeff Horn, than what we saw in Pacquiao versus at 66.75. Yeah, exactly. I feel, I feel strong. I feel normal. I, I feel like I'm cheating, that I don't need to make weight for this one. <laughs> We've seen a lot of chocolate this week, Jeff, I'll tell you that. <laughs> I love the chocolate. I've still had a little bit of that this week and still on my... Different strategy for a fight against this with Mundine. We know that Anthony's got a lot of speed. We must admit that. Against Terence, he did struggle a little bit with the speed in later round. Is it going to be a different strategy tomorrow night? It is, but Terence Crawford had, I think, everything. He, he was a very good mover, a very good counter puncher, uh, fast hands. So Crawford was a difficult one to beat, and I, I don't think Mundine's got exactly what Crawford's got, but he has got that speed that I'm going to have to look out for. Have you got your main streak back, mate? Will we see that tomorrow night if you get him in trouble? I will. I will have to finish him. If I get it, if I see him in trouble, I'm going to be hunting after him, that's for sure. Is there a chance, Jeff? obviously he was 71, we're looking at super welterweight at the moment. Any chance in the future probably moving up in weight, if you're comfortable? I just, I just feel that sometimes at 147, it's been a bit too light for you. Yeah, look, it has been hard to make the 147 limit, but I've been able to do it. I stepped up from well, uh, light welterweight in the amateurs, so um, maybe the body's just growing and uh, it's getting harder and harder. I'm over 30 now, so it's getting harder to make weight. But uh, maybe we go to the Super Welters, who knows? A lot, a lot of people are going to be tuning in and the top gets knocked out. Do you think Australians should respect him as a fighter if they don't like him or just knock him out? Oh, look, he, yeah, people want to see him get knocked out. But because of the things he says, he, he puts it on himself, really. But look, he has been an amazing athlete, I've got to give him that. To be able to go from rugby league then to boxing, everyone just wishes to do one sport. Mm. And as a living, living as a professional, he's done too. It's amazing.